Hi, welcome back to Sweet and Simple Home. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my own science unit. And this unit is for space and planets. Um, it's a very basic approach. Pretty much I find a book that I want to use as my spine, which is mostly an encyclopedia. And then I add two or three other library books to that spine. Then we do a notebooking page, and then we either do an activity or experiment or we watch a movie. So let's jump into it and I'll show you how I am doing this unit study. I have it all laid out over here. So what I do in the beginning of creating my unit studies, I just get a big piece of paper and I kind of brainstorm and I map out my lesson plans. So to start off the solar system unit, we read the Magic School Bus Lost in the solar system and then you can go on YouTube and you can watch the video of the book and then we did our notebooking page so here's my notebooking page what we did is we talked about each planet and we defined a couple of vocabulary words so we defined orbit what that means we defined solar system what that means and then we defined the inner planets and the outer planets. And that was just day one, just to introduce the solar system. And we talked about the asteroid belt. So then the next day, we got our spine. This is my spine, um, DK Find Out Solar System. It very broadly covers um, all the topics of space in the solar system. So I really like this. And I just got this from the library. We have a library program where you're allowed to check out books for eight weeks. So it's very helpful um, to be able to get them for such a long period of time. So we read this um, and then I got a couple books, books about asteroids and then we did a study on the asteroid belt. So we defined asteroid, meteoroid, asteroid belt, and we talked about the Trojan um, asteroids and we watched a short video on what asteroids look like. So then getting into the um, different planets, what, what I would do on a planet day is we would read a planet book and I really like these books by I think they're Alexis Rumanis. I really like her books. They're short and sweet. And then we'd read our spine. We'd color in our page. We talked a lot about craters, so they marked off a crater. And then we did our notes on the back. So what we did for our notes is we wrote, um, you can't see at the top, but how, how long is a year for that planet? How many moons the planet has? how many rings the planet has, and then each of us would say what we thought was the most important fact. Then I went to YouTube and we watched a Brain Pop Junior video on the planet, which would be about three minutes long, and then we did a project. So for Mercury, we I went out to Pinterest and I found projects for each planet. So for Mercury, we created craters in flower. We were throwing chocolate chips at different angles into flower to make craters. Um, for Venus, we did a volcano study, um, a little mini study, and we created a volcano because Venus is covered in volcanoes. Um, so what I did with my experiments is I went on Pinterest and found a bunch of experience and copy and pasted and just made a big packet of all the experiments that I want to do with, with each planet. So once we move past the planet unit study, then we're going to do a study on the moon. So I have the book I want to use. I printed off a mini book off of um, Pinterest. We'll do a moon activity. Here's another moon book. And then we'll watch the moon and study the moon every night. Then we'll be studying stars. And there's a star DVD from the library that we're going to watch. We're going to do the magic school bus sees stars. And we'll discuss that, which then moves us into constellations. Here's my constellation books I want to read. And then we're going to make marshmallow constellations um and then I want to read about one famous astronaut or several famous astronauts there's a who was Neil Armstrong book that we'll use 
Um, so that'll probably take us a couple days to read. And that is just my basic introduction to the solar system for my kindergarten and second grader. Um, so just to review, I what I usually do is I look at several curriculums and look at their table of contents and see what I think is most important for the girls to know at this age. I write down those topics. So for here it was asteroid belt, planets, moon, stars, constellation, and then astronomers or astronauts. And then what I do is I find a book or two, I find a spine, then we do a notebooking page, and then we do an activity or experiment or a video. So you can do this for free unless, um, except for paper and ink, because um, you're getting your books from the library, you can get your videos from the library, you can use your internet, YouTube or National Geographic, kids I like to use a lot for videos. And then you can create your own notebook and pages, or you can even just use a, you know, 25 cent notebook that you get at Target during this um, school supply sale, you know, and you can have them draw the solar system on it and define some vocabulary words. So that's how I do my basic unit studies. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Bye.